another issue that we wanted to discuss with you is uh, access to metadata. So under Brazilian law, there's no specific requirements or there are no, there are no specific rules uh, determining when metadata can be accessed by law enforcement and under which circumstances. So I wanted to ask you, um, in the US, how does that work? And what do you think would be the ideal circumstances under which metadata could be obtained by law enforcement and which safeguards should be implemented uh, so that users are protected, their privacy is protected sure. in those circumstances? So we think that metadata should have the exact same protections as content because metadata is often as revealing, if not more revealing than content. Because what's interesting about metadata um, is it can't lie necessarily. Um, I can write an email and it can be all not true, every single word of it. But the information about where I sent that email, who I sent it to, um, what time I sent it, that is factual information that can reveal a whole lot about that communication. Um, and so we think that the protections need to be the same. The problem is, there are many problems. Um, first of all, in the United States, we have a, um, a doctrine called the third party doctrine. And it, it dates back kind of before the internet, um, before the modern internet. And it talks about how when you give your information voluntarily to a third party, that you lose your privacy interest in that information. And metadata, by the nature of what it is, is always given to a third party. Um, your phone company needs to be able to route your calls, so they need to know who you're calling. Um, your cell phone needs to know where you are because they need to be able to send you service and to connect you to a tower, um, which provides additional um, lower levels of protection for users. Um, in the US, we have tried to um, overcome those hurdles by passing specific laws that provide higher levels of protection um, that route around the third party doctrine. So for example, there's a law in Congress right now that has been proposed um, to protect location information and to ensure that you have to get, you have to show some um, suspicion that you have to go to a court and get um, a warrant to access location data because of how sensitive location data is. Um, we think that is, is the right approach. We also think that the third party doctrine is far outdated um, because of how much data we turn over to third parties. We think that is no longer tenable in the digital world um, the way that it, it might have been um, many, many years ago, decades ago. So that's important. Um, it's also important to note that metadata can't be encrypted necessarily um, or else we haven't at least figured out a way to do it yet. Um, and there are reasons for that, but at the end of the day, people need to realize that even if their communications are encrypted, um, that that data is, is out there in the world um, and is not as protected through digital protections. And so it is more easily accessible also um, to law enforcement just by virtue of the, the lack of encryption.